Hello, happy Tuesday Thrive Epic community. Super excited to be here for our next text. Tuesday. All right. For those of you that don't know, um, well, it takes a second for your lives to let people know that you're actually live in your group. So if you're ever doing a live, it's good to kind of just spend a good minute or so just kind of warming up, talking to your audience before you get into the juicy part of your content. That way, um, as people are getting notified, they have a second to sign in and come in and they don't lose the valuable part of your information. That's a little pro tip for you when going live in Facebook. So the second thing is, is um, each each Tuesday I go live here in the um, in the group. So if you're watching this on a different channel, we usually only go live within our Facebook group, which is Entrepreneurs Creating Profitable Programs um, in the Facebook group. If you're here in the group, welcome. Um, drop a line. We always like to know who's here. I always want to give shout outs and say hello. And um, you do have to allow StreamYard to view your name and profile so that I can see it on screen. If not, I might just not use your name and <laughs> I'll see it when I'm done. As always, post any questions you have down below and through the days, I you know try to answer any questions that come up here in Tech Tuesday at some point. Um, and then the last thing is, is hashtag replay if you're catching the replay. So without further ado, we're going to talk a little bit this morning about Otter. So Otter is a great system. I've done a Tech Tuesday before on some other transcription type services. Um, Otter is probably one of the most widely, widely known um, transcription platforms out there. So let me bring it up on screen. All right. So this is what it looks like. So Otter, I, Otter is um, really great for being able to, what I just said, transcribe your work. But we're going to talk about, after I show you how it's used, some ways that you can develop a product in less than five minutes using this platform. So stay to the end and I'm going to share that with you. All right. So this is what it looks like. Um, and again, sometimes on Tech Tuesday, so you know that I don't always use all of the software that I demo out. It would be a lot. <laughs> um, but I do have recommendations on um, ways that you can use it. I love to play with software. So if you have other ideas for other programs, like feel free to drop them down below or shoot me a message and be like, hey, will you research this? So what I do is I go in and I play with a lot of these platforms, although some I've used and have played with before, and then come in and show you how they work. So um, that's just a little gist and behind the scenes of it. So this is the platform. Everything's here along the left hand side. I think that's kind of the modern way of doing stuff. <laughs> um, and so you can click on any of these. You can come into your account settings. You can refer and earn credit. So basically, I could drop a link to you all and then I would get a little credit if you signed up on my account. Um, you can use Teams in this for those of you that are, have multiple people working with you and you want to be able to do that. Um, one of the things I do suggest, though, is when you go into your account setting is come in here and look at your account settings. And the reason I suggest this is because whether you are on the free plan or the paid plan, and yes, they do have both. I'll show you what they look like in a minute. That there's an opportunity to do some customization for your account before you even start transcribing. And this is really important. So right here under manage vocabulary, this is the one thing I, there's two things I want you to set up in your settings. This is one of them. So if you have any words that you use often, you might want to plug them in here. So course creation, the system usually knows what that is, but Erica Clark Alejo, it always spells it wrong. <laughs> and the word Thrive Epic, uh, for that's the company name, it's supposed to be put together as one word with the capital E, the second one. And um, the site doesn't know that. It sometimes puts all kinds of other stuff in there. So this is a chance for you to go in. And the more you can customize this, the better your transcriptions will be. But as you can see, so I have the basic plan right now. And it only gives you five entries, which is enough for like my name and my business name and the couple things I talk about all the time, which is course creation and virtual summits. But if you have the pro plan, you can have up to 200 um, unique vocabulary words to you. So for those of you who are in industry specific things that use a lot of jargon, this is a really great and powerful feature. And it will save you time from correcting the same errors over and over again. 
The other thing I want you to do when you go in here is go down to my voice print. So the really powerful system. So when you look at any of these AI systems, the artificial intelligence type of systems, it's using a computer to generate all this. So it's, you have to teach the computer. Right? We're teaching the computer our names. We're teaching them our business names, any jargon we use. We also just need to teach them how we talk. So if you come in here, they have a script that's set up in here. They use your name based on what you said, what you put your name in when you signed up for the program. And they want you to read this. So you're going to just click the start recording and you're going to say, say, hi, my name is, hi, Otter. My name is Erica Clark and my occupation is... Um, Epic experience, curator, and coach. I found out about the Otter app from a friend or from Erica. <laughs> Otter is a smart note-taking and collaboration app. So you just read it through and then you save it. You can try it again if you want. And what it does is it, it looks and it's going to be able to match it up so it can figure out what you're saying for if you have a stronger accent than it's used to, and it matches it up. So this will help your transcriptions be a little bit better with their software. All right, let me um, flip back in. So, oh, someone said they're late. Yep, Otter AI. So thank you, uh, Marlene, for being on top of that for me. I appreciate it. I'm in different screens. So I can't always see. I miss my, my dual desktops. All right, so we're going to flip in here to the home. So that's the two things in settings you're going to want to set up. Oh, and I'm going to show you while I was in the settings um, the difference. So you can get a free plan, and it gives you up to 600 minutes a month. It resets at the end of the calendar month, and um, you can download any transcripts. If you want to start doing advanced stuff, which I'm going to talk to you about in just a second, you're going to have to go with the pro account. But if you just want some basic transcriptions, this is great um, to be able to use. And then the uh, the pro plan starts at, I think, around eight dollars a month or so and moves on up depending on how many min minutes and stuff you need. You can also hook up your apps to this so you can sync in recordings. This is really powerful. So I work with a team and when we need to do captions for videos, I upload it into a different platform, not Otter, but it does the same thing. And when you can sync it to your cloud, it just makes it easier. So you're not having to download massive amounts of video and re-upload them. Or um, if you have videos and stuff in Dropbox, you know, you can start adding in some of these apps notifications. I don't ever turn notifications on. I don't want anything to notify me more than I have to be, but you can go through here. If um, if you're working with another team and they're like fixing your document or doing editing, things like that, you might want edits on, you might want your notifications on. So you know when something's happening in your system. All right. So let's go in and play with this now. And let me show you what it looks like when you do that. All right, you can come in here and there's two ways that you can get your system in. So you can record, which I'm gonna do one in just a second, or you can import. So I'm gonna, if on the free plan, I think they only let you import one or two audio files or videos a month. On the free plan, you can obvious, or on the paid plan, you can obviously do more. The recording is just, it goes by those 600 minutes. The import will still use part of your 600 minutes, but I'll show you what it looks like. So we're gonna, we're going to browse a file. Uh, no judgment here. I'm actually going to type the word Marlene because her and I just did a giveaway. And there's a video from her right here. So I'm going to open that. And it will import um, up into the cloud. So it does take a little bit of time. So I always just come back in here. Just try to be patient and come back in. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. You can see it's processing at 1%. And I think Marlene and I... How long did we talk yesterday, Marley? Maybe 20 minutes or so. So, um, you know, this would probably take three, four, five minutes or so to upload. I'm not going to finish it just because you'll be able to still see what it looks like when it's done. So when it's done, I'm going to go down in here. It will look much like this. This is another one that I had transcribed. It was a video that I uploaded. And you can see in here, notice my name's not right because I hadn't set up my system. So you can come directly in here and edit, edit your, um, it's reading it. You can't hear it though. It, you can come in directly here and edit your text. So we're going to hit on edit and I'm going to change this to Erica. Stop it from reading. And you can go through and read your script and um, edit the things that you need to that were errors. So I will tell you that this 
presentation was just me talking, but you notice it says speaker one and speaker two. So we can change the name. We're going to say, yes, this was Erica. These were all Erica. So it's confirming that the speaker is the same person. So that's great. The system does that for you. But it did take a break, probably because I took a little bit of pause through here. So it breaks it up like it's different presenters. Again, um, for the stuff I use it for, it's not a deal breaker because sometimes I just need the script of what was said. Um, and again, you can go in and edit it. You can highlight it. You can, you know, do some stuff to your document. When you're done with it and you're ready to export it, you're going to, and you can add your friends in here if you want to share it. Click it done. And you can go in here into export text. When you go to export it, um, the, you will only be able to export it as a general text file or onto your clipboard unless you have the paid version. So you might be like, why do I need the paid version? If you want to add captions and get really good captions on your system, you have to download this SRT file. Remember I told you, if you stay to the end, I'm going to teach you how to make a product in five minutes. I'm going to tell you now, even though it's not the end. How's that? Because <laughs> I'm here. So what I did is I had a presentation that um, I gave. It was really stellar. It was really amazing. I brought it into a transcription service. I had it transcribed. So I, all I had to do was upload it. It did its thing. I came in here. I edited it out. I downloaded it as a document and then was able to put it into a small ebook. I did have to do some editing because you talk a little bit different than you write, but in five minutes or less, you can really make a product. You can take something you have and change it into like an ebook. So you can have it as a lead magnet for your clients. You can have it um, in different ways to be able to give out to people, to be able to share information. Not everybody wants to watch a video or listen to audio. Some people like to read. <laughs> and I said that because I haven't been able to read a lot of books lately. So I think I'm just jealous. <laughs> But this is how you could change it into a product. It would be easier if it goes into a document or a PDF compared to a text file. Okay. So I hope that helps um, talk to you a little bit about like changing in and thinking about creative ways to add some products in your business that wouldn't take you a long time. Because I have my microphone hooked up, I don't think you can hear the text. But if you notice when I push this play button, it will read it out loud. So if you're going through the transcript trying to edit it and you're like, what does it say? Because maybe it's all jumbled the writing here. You can listen to exactly what was said. Notice I uploaded a movie, but you don't see the movie here. You only see the words and you can hear the audio if you would like. All right, I'm going to check in and make sure there's no questions. All right. So this is, this is how you use it. I'm going to show you one, a couple other features in it. So if I uploaded something, you would find it like listed under here, like this one I did in here. If you want to record something, you can also record. This is a great way. Um, if maybe you're feeling blocked at doing some writing or you're trying to put together something for one of your clients, you could come in here and you need to write it. If you could come in here and just talk your thoughts out and have it all transcribed. Um, this is also a really great way to be able to get things that you normally have in audio format into uh, easier, you know, visual format for other individuals. So on the right hand side, there's a big blue button. You hit start recording. And then um, you can notice the sound waves at the bottom. So it's like tracking my voice right now. And then it's going to start populating the text in there as well. So I'm going to hit stop. That's only one second. I might not have had enough. I don't want to be notified because I don't like to be notified of anything. So it's processing. Hopefully, I don't know if I, I might have needed to talk a little bit longer. Oh, there we go. Nope, I talked long enough. <laughs> it's processing the rest of the conversation. And you can see here that what I was saying, it populated in here. Um, and again, you can share it out with people. You can add emails. You can share, share it via a link. So that's pretty much like the nuts and bolts of it. Off to the left, you'll see like it's a bigger thing. Usually they just have the icons or you can expand out this menu. You can look at things that have been shared with you. So if you're collaborating with someone else, again, we talked about some of the apps and hooking those up if you desire. And then you can make groups and folders to be able to store your information in different places or head in to see all conversations. So there's not tons of buttons. I'm going to say you're going to get to the home screen. You're either going to record something or you're going to import something. Um, and then you're either, you'll be able to go in and edit it and you'll be able to go in to save it, share it, download it. 
So not a lot to the system, but so powerful in the way that you can use it. They also have the ability to do transcriptions of meetings. So if you ever have a meeting and you really just need the notes from it, it's great to be able to do this. Make sure you get consent of other people in the room as well. But and then they have this new um, feature as well, which I haven't had the ability to try out, but I hope to one day is um, transcribe your Zoom live. So this is really great for adding captions. It helps you make an inclusive community. For those of you that don't know, I have a passion for the deaf and hard of hearing world as I've spent like the last 20 years um, owning and running a sign language interpreter agency and myself as an interpreter. So I just have a passion for trying to make sure all of my stuff is captioned as well. So sometimes it takes me a little bit um, to get it done, but I try to do them really quickly. So things, programs like this, are really nice. Um, captioning services can get costly and you don't wanna exclude audiences. So to be inclusive, being able to use services like this is so powerful. Uh, so maybe one maybe one Tech Tuesday will have to try out the Zoom live captions and see how they work. I think that would be really fun. And with that, let me check in and make sure there were no questions. Um, yes, Marlene, there is an app. So. I don't use the desktop one very often. I use it mostly on my phone and I'll do voice memos and things on there, things that I needed transcribed and then I'm gonna send over to someone else um, to do something with. So I hope today has been informative for each of you. If, uh, you know, if you found value in this, you know, drop in like what you learned out of this or a really cool way that you might be able to use it in your business. Cause I think that's, what's important is understanding of like how you can apply it in your situation. When I do these demos, um, sometimes people are like, okay, I'm going to go buy it. And I was like, I don't want you to go buy stuff. I want you to think about what's good for your business. And if this is something that's like, this is in alignment, this is something I need. This is how I'm going to, you know, get me to turn my video into something where people can read it. Um, that's great. And then go ahead and use it. But I just want you to know, I demo out these because there's so many cool things out there. But don't get hung up on the shiny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's my roller today. Don't get hung up in the shiny stuff. Don't feel like just because you see it, like, oh, I got to get it and I have to incorporate it. Really figure out what's in alignment with your business and what's going to push you um, forward. Heather, it's um, Otter. So it's, I'll, I'll drop the link to it in the box below. Oh, I don't, I can't share it on Facebook until I'm done, but it's otter.ai, not .com. It's otter.ai. So head in there. There's a couple other platforms that do this as well, um, but Otter is probably the most widely known. So with that, I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. I will definitely see you next Tuesday with another, um, thank you, Marlene, for dropping it down in there, with another Tech Tuesday. And I'm trying to be on the ball a little bit better and post the topics ahead of time. <laughs> so I will get it done. And whoever does ask for my affiliate link, I'll be more than happy to drop it in. I have to wait until I come out of this video because there's like more things that you guys should know. When you're live stream, when you're live streaming from external apps, Google doesn't allow you to type in the comments into a Facebook group. So I'm using StreamYard. And Facebook says, well, if you're using another system, you can't actually comment on your own video. <laughs> so I have to wait till I get out of this and go in Facebook. It's all the nuances until you start really doing it. Then you're like, oh, that seems strange. But Facebook, you know, they like to keep they like to keep a. Uh, they like to keep everything locked down. <laughs> all right. I have to run. I hope you all have a fantastic day and drop your takeaway from this um, down below because I would love to hear.